next million dollar business startup may be brewing in an unexpected place. 12 News Kent Wainscott takes us inside an unusual setting that some are calling a laboratory for young entrepreneurs. You step off the elevator into what at first glance may look like empty office space, but in fact is filled with energy and innovation. 100 State, as it's called, is a laboratory for ideas. You're never going to find the kind of inspiration you can hear. It's a gathering place for young entrepreneurs sharing their concepts for new startup businesses and working together to help each other succeed. Some people go to work for a large corporation and you wear one hat when you walk in the door and when you leave you take it off and put on a different hat, right? Kind of who more of who you are. And here, work and life and play is all one thing. It's all intermixed. Members come here from everywhere with every kind of experience. From Rwanda, East Africa. Rwanda. I teach at E.W. Madison, uh, Wisconsin School of Business. Mash up some New York energy with Wisconsin Madison energy, so I'm excited about doing that. From technicians to performing artists, authors to innovators, more than 150 members brainstorming ways to launch the next breakthrough startup. Mike Fenchel is the driving force behind 100 State. We interview everyone before they become a member, and there is some expectation that you are going to be in a collaborative mindset and sort of contribute to the overall idea that's happening here. The result is a place where ideas blossom and businesses are born. 26 startups so far, all still in their infancy, in a tough business world where some estimate that up to 90% of all new startups fail. If their first startup doesn't work and their second startup doesn't work, but then the third one, you know, they can, and maybe they'll make a million dollars too. That's a success. We don't, you know, we wouldn't count that as a 33% success rate. That's a 100% success rate in our minds. As its name would suggest, the project got its start at 100 State Street in that top floor office, but it grew so quickly that in less than 10 months, it had to relocate to a newer, larger space across the street. And into a work environment like few others. Having been here, could you work in a traditional corporate environment? Hell no. no. <laughs> it's a place where no one is sure what the next idea or the next question might lead to. So what do you think about this? I'm like, I have no idea. I've literally never thought of that before ever. Pennsylvania native Carla Angel holds down a full-time job while collaborating on her own startup idea here. But for others, this can be more of a challenge. Can you live on this? Can you survive on this? And figure out how long can I survive before I have to start making more money. And then you figure out what you have to do. I mean, you kind of start treating your life like a startup a little bit too. They network, collaborate, and sometimes help keep fellow members financially afloat until their business ideas can take off. That's actually how I met Mike was crashing my own startup into the ground. And now we're working together. Together on a familiar concept. Coming back here is actually my newest um, company is kind of emerged out of 100 states called 100X. The idea to bring this same kind of collaborative environment into other businesses. What we've fortified and really gotten good mm -hmm. at at 100 state, and we're going to be able to help large corporations replicate that. But for now, this is a proving ground where aspiring entrepreneurs can hone their skills. Do you get a better education in a place like this than you would in school? Absolutely. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, you do. As you tend to say, this is even better than my classroom. The business school professor says he wouldn't go that far. But as someone trying to launch a startup of his own, selling German baked bread to an online marketplace, he is sold on the environment here. It's a great energy. I like the energy here. It's very inspiring. In Madison, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News.